spaces around the world and I want to show a different view of, of the world that most people can't see because they're not out there on the ocean, they're not travelling um, and they're not going to get to see those sort of things with their own eyes mostly. So, so basically with, you live on a houseboat. I do. And you're buying the catamaran. I'm selling my houseboat and I'm buying the catamaran so I can learn to sail properly and just go. So I've got some ideas of how to earn a living. Um, I'll keep them to myself at the moment. Um, but there's ways to do it. And it's a cheap lifestyle. If you've got the right boat, you can do the jobs yourself, or most of them. I, I can have a very humble lifestyle and travel for the rest of my life. So. Yay, hang on a sec. <laughs>
Leah's showing me uh, a video that they've made. Leah, talk me through it. This was early morning, about half an hour after sunrise on the River Medway, and the dew or morning mist is coming out of the woods and off of the water and raise, rising up and flying up into the sky off over the field. Basically, um, you can see, even though there's no breeze at all, there's a lot of movement with the mist, probably generated somehow by the heat. Um, and it seems to occasionally spiral upward and break off and just float off up into the sky. Yeah, you were saying that you're wondering if this is how some of the clouds are made. It's got to be, hasn't it? I mean, you don't ever see it happening like this. Not a, a, not in this sort of detail. Um, but it's supposed to be lifted off the sea and land. It's only a minute long, but... So, you're, you know, if, if you're looking, they're spiralling up and then breaking off. Almost like, look like spirits, don't they? Like they're being pulled by the sun. It's just absolutely beautiful as well. And the different currents in the in the mist or whatever it is. You know, not a, not even a lightest of breeze. You can hear the birds singing and everything. It is weird how they sort of spiral up and then wisp into nothing. What it is is we're not saying any of this is. Well, we've seen it loads before, but it's what it means now, what you're looking at. Yeah. You realise you're looking at something different. The river, the river's very healthy, and the woods around it. Uh, the river's full of fish, the riverbank's covered in damselflies and dragonflies in the summer. And it's, waking up to see this in the morning was fascinating. I never quite see it performing like this again. Because there's no wind. Yeah, it's just absolutely dead calm. You know what though, if you're on a high altitude balloon and you watch the light coming in, the light almost looks like this, it's just a different colour because really? it's light. Because they gas it, uh, it, it comes in like this as if, well I put it like, that's like Dracula's coming. Yeah. It is spooky almost, isn't it? Well, it's gone out of focus a little bit. And how long did this go on for? At least half an hour. It, was a, it started about half an hour after sunrise, when the sun was hitting the water, um, and lasted for about half an hour before it got too warm, and then... <laughs> <coughs> Lee is all videoed out <laughs> at my house. <laughs> they came to visit me, now they're going to be on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, it's incredible. It's not that we haven't seen some of these things, but... You know, do you like watching Pete and Pete as well? Yeah, Peter and Pete. They look at things in a completely different way, which I think people need to do. There's a lot of questions that still are unanswered. And we're not going to answer them by sticking to the the answers we have. <laughs> I don't think. Hmm. And also, um, you said they were spiralling up. Yeah, it's it's like some strange heat currents. I guess. Um, tornadoes are created by different pressure and heat. And I suppose this is similar on a microscopic scale. So you sort of go whizzy poof, and some of them go up higher. Yeah. Oh yeah, like there. Wow. They're like mini dust devils. Okay, the video's um, finished. Thanks a lot for that, Leah. No problem. Yeah, maybe we can try and get that on, like, seeing it properly. Yeah, I'll try and get that for you. So. Yeah, a bit more detail. Anyway, when we work you, out Leah. how to get it off of my iPad. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's Leah again. Thank you, Leah. Bye bye. Hey, back on now. I think I've interrogated uh, Leah quite well, enough now. Questioned a lot. <laughs> Yeah, but it was good and anyway yeah. the chat room can get to know who you are anyway Leah Bye. thank you very much Bye. for coming to meet me and it's really thank great you for and me. I you know have you actually bought the boat not yet but, um, right you gotta think about it I don't need to think about it I just need to sell my boat now so yeah. anyway <laughs> it's really great to meet Leah it's great to meet you Karen hey, hey. bye, bye. bye.